Okay, guys, we got this uh, HHR here. Let's see what year it is. I think it's like an 07. 07 HHR. Let's save this. 230,000 miles. There we go. We'll have to see if we can save our license plate. Let's see what our license plate is. Let me save this quick. Um, let's see what our license plate is. Something simple. Okay, I think we got that right. Okay, let's save this. Okay. There we go, save and report. And let's see. So we've got a transmission fault code right there. Shift solenoid and heated auction sensor. So let's go back. Let's clear these fault codes. Let's see if we get them back. So we got our heated heated auction sensor. I'm not too worried about. There we go. Let's go and let's fill the key. Put this in, in gear. see anything right now. Oh, it already failed. Hmm. Control circuit. P0976. Let's see. Can we uh, bi-directional control this? Oh, we can. Um, okay, so we probably got to do this. It's just the key on. Okay, so it looks like we're getting control. Let's pop the hood. Let me pop the hood and we'll go try to activate this. I don't know if you guys can hear this or not, but when I turn it on, it clicks. Off. On. Okay, so that was our one, two I cycled on. I think that was one, two. Let's go back. Let's go to two three. Let's see if two three clicks. Hear nothing on a two three. There's nothing. So what we'll do is I'm gonna print out a diagram. We're gonna go inside. We're gonna look up this two three solenoid and we'll see if it's being commanded and if we can replace it. Okay guys, so we're going back in here. Hopefully you guys can hear me in the wind ain't too bad. So I print out a diagram right here. Let's see our solenoids. Our solenoids share a common power feed and it comes out and this yellow and black controls are shift solenoid two three. Um, shift solenoid one two is here, it's light green. Gets the control. So I'm gonna go under output controls. We're gonna see So it said yellow and black right here. That's our only yellow. Oh wait, actually there's two yellow and blacks. Um, I guess we'll see if we're on the right one. So I got this connected to the battery positive. So when we turn this on, our test light should light up on the right one. And it lights. Look at that. Let's see if we can get the scan tool. Uh, we probably can't get it in the picture. But let me turn it off. On. Off. On. So our driver's good. Our wiring is good up to our connector. Now the only thing is we could have bad pin tension, but I don't know about that. Um, let's see, maybe we can put this in the car. We can get a test in the car because we know our power is good. Oh, I lost my paper. I bet because I picked my scan tool. We're gonna have to go get it then. 
Let's see. Let's press off. Cycle our key off. Cycle it on to do a circuit test. Man, I wish we didn't have such a glare in the window. There we go. Okay, let's back out. Let's back out. Let's see, let's clear our codes. Clear our fall codes, yes. Let's see, let's see if it tests this. So we actually get no codes right now. Remember, and we got codes. So this might be a good enough test right here. They may just be looking for continuity through that solenoid. Um, probably all it's doing. So if we probably take this, if we take this off, we'll probably call it now. Let's see. Yep, look at that. It faulted. Check engine light came on now. As soon as we took that off. So, yeah, we got a bad solenoid. Um, we'll look up this performance code, see what the performance code says. Okay, guys, so if we look at this P2A01 code right here, I brought up here P2A01. It says one of the following tests failed. Lean, it says the oxygen sensor didn't go below 300 volts for 12 seconds. Um, when the oxygen sensor one is less than 350 and rich it says it didn't go above 700 volts for 12 seconds um, and the upstream one is above 600 volts so it sets when seven minutes of it of it uh, when the above conditions are met so let's go back let me let this warm up I'm gonna let this car warm up and we'll see what happens here Actually, maybe we can look at it live. Um, I gotta wait to see if they want a solenoid. But we confirmed it needs a solenoid. So if they deny it. Let's go to system selection, ECU. Data stream. So it looks like it's working right now.
So we'll just let this run here for a little bit and we'll see what happens. Okay guys, had the HHR out here running for a while now. Um, yeah, let's see. The auction sensors seem to be working. See the good lane. Okay, so the good lane. So I'm assuming this thing probably got a bad heater. We may have to check this cold or check the resistance of it. Maybe it's intermittent because it's outside here in the sun. But see how it's working now? Um, I'm going to quote them an auction sensor. And uh, maybe we'll check this when it's uh, when it's cold out. Or when the car sits overnight. See that? Because it's working. It looks like they're going a little slow though. It does have 200,000 miles on it, I think. Um, field trims look good. Let's go back. Let's go to read trouble codes. So we still just got the um, one for the uh, transmission. So unless it's because the car was in lint mode, I don't know. So I'll let them know. And if this is it, hope you guys like this one. See you later. Okay guys, so as you can see from the photos, we popped the cover off the side of the transmission and then uh, we removed the uh, solenoids, had to undo the two mounts, and then we could move the trans enough to get in there to get it in and out. So I scanned the car for codes. We have no codes. Um, it goes in the gear fine. Goes in the drive fine. No codes. track control lights on because the uh, e-brake was pulled up but so there we go reverse go down the drive no issues um, see no codes so what I want to do is I want to reset this transmission adapters let's see let's reset this okay, did that reset okay let's go back Go to data stream. I'm just gonna let this warm up. Trans data. Let's see. Where is. I'm missing it. I might be blind here, but I'm missing. Oh, there it is. Food temp. Well, that's not good. Is there a tram? Oh, maybe this don't have it. This is a four speed. Yeah, this might not have trans temp. Okay. Well, we'll just let this warm up. And, uh, we'll see what happens. I'll check the diagram too, but this might not have trans temp. So guys, according to this, it's supposed to have a fluid temperature sensor. And it says it's on the manual valve, so... I'm gonna have to see what's going on there, why we don't have it. I don't know if we had it before or not, because we had those solenoid codes. I think that's just weird, though, that we don't have a code for it. And we also don't have, it just says negative 40, like it's unplugged. Okay, guys, so I switched scan tools. It must be a launch issue. Um. Our trans temp and it's going up, so let's see. Well, I guess you can't see it on here, but it's going up. It was at 100 when I switched it over, and now it's at uh, 127. So let's go between 80 and 200. So you can see it stepped up, stepped up again. So just gonna let this warm up. We'll check our fluid level then. 
I'm glad that it's not a broken sensor. Because I'm like, man, we don't have a code. That's weird. Because usually you get a trans time code. Okay, guys, just got back from a test drive. Just perfectly fine. Let's see what's your trans temp. 177. So there we go. Um, let's check our codes real quick. Done. Let's go back. Let's just check our engine. There we go, no coats. Hope you guys like it. See you later.